Alright, I'm mad and I'm back with Fallout 4, where last time we decided head back to the Cambridge police station. And just on the way there, I have of course re-adjusted my inventory. Um, I run, ran into a couple of ghouls that have respawned, I heard some firing around here. Must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's gonna move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. <clears throat> I don't have time for you right now. Fine. There's still combat sounds. Excuse me. Military business only. Fine. That way. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck? Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. I've offered him a place on our team, but I'm not sure he's willing to accept. In the meantime, he's welcome to take shelter here, as long as he doesn't get in our way. <laughs> well, I'm so I'm for you to I'm personally. If you want to see like some real everyone. action. What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. So, what do you say? I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Aelin, Reese. It's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. <laughs> Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. <laughs> I got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture, so I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of Knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad victorium, knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Well, that hurt. That helps. <clears throat> Alright, out with it. What's your game? <laughs> Give me a break. I can't win with you. Win? This isn't a contest. I'm just trying to understand what you're doing here. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? <laughs> the Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. 
So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Right. <clears throat> Let's do that. Also, where is Scribe Halen? Hey, Halen. Where did she go? Hmm. So, looks like we're not going to do the... Uh, to, to visit the airship yet. Maybe. Anderson Specs. That was actually not the gun I wanted to pick up. Wait, Cambridge Police Evidence Terminal? Haven't I unlocked that before? Jerry could be Jerry, it isn't. Lean. Wait. Lean. That's hardly possible. There we go. Let's see, Winter Holotape logs. Holotape 0, Holotape 2. 0, return to Agent Mitchell, Boston EADTFL. Holotape 2, mail to Sergeant Salzbeck, Melden PD. Okay. Holbrook's edition. The rights at work. Unionized today. Transferred to Federal Officer J. Dobson. Adam's public intoxication. Platinum inebriator beverage. Okay. Somebody got got drunk and took all their clothes off. Nielsen, reckless endangerment. Two spools of 200 uh, foot copper cable. Three fission pell home nuclear reactors. And one bag containing remains of TJM home stereo system. Okay, that's interesting. Also, we got a new level. I forgot to to pick a perk. Sorry about that. <coughs> now I did notice. Well, I can take rifleman. Actually, kind of useful. I was thinking about uh, taking. Upgrading my intelligence so I can take science and upgrade a few f other weapons. I also thought about uh, upgrading my charisma so I can take a uh, local leader to ooh, establish supply lines between my workshop settlements. So that would mean I only need to dump my stuff at one settlement. And can access it from ev access it from everywhere. That's something to keep in mind for the future. Okay, for a second I thought somebody was standing at that corner. Don't you have a mission to complete? I do, but I'm currently looking for Halen. There she is. How did I miss you? Excuse me, scribe Halen. Re still giving you the cold shoulder. I wish we can see eye to eye. Reese only sees one thing. Reese. Reese bleeds brotherhood. It's all he cares about. It's his family. It's his whole life. If anything else comes into the picture and gets in the way, he shoves it aside. <laughs> uh, 
No, it could. Is there something between the two of you? That's none of your business. Look, just give Reese some time. I'm sure he'll see you're a valuable member of the team, and he'll come around. So, are you ready to take on your first assignment? Sure. Ready. Great. Let me explain what I need you to do. One of the Brotherhood's most important duties is the recovery and preservation of technology that was lost when the bombs fell. I have a list of locations that contain artifacts we need you to recover in order to have them cataloged and studied by our scribes. Here, this should cover all the information you'll need to find your first artifact. Good luck, <clears throat> and be careful. Right. Lux sensor at Mass Pike Tunnel. Well, well, well. Didn't we find just such a place not too long ago? Okay, this is Wilson Atomatoys Corporate HQ. This is the Mars Pike Tunnel West. Oh, and we've got Bedford Station there. Not too bad. So we could just travel through the tunnel. And then head on over to Atomatoys. How about that? Right. Dogmeat found <coughs> something. Um, Dogmeat? Where did you just appear to? Oh. It's ghouls. It's ghouls. There's dog meat. Might have picked up whatever he found. Hmm. Massachusetts Turnpike. Post guard head. All right. Ooh, boy. More money, red poison. Come by here? Apparently not. Apparently not, because there's still stuff around here. All right. Somebody's been planning planning to bowl around here, apparently, but I don't think it was the ghouls. More likely to be the raiders who got killed by ah, uh, what's his name, Kellogg, or who I suspect got, got killed by Kellogg. Maybe they got killed by the ghouls as well. There's still combat. Oh well, not my problem. There's always gonna be combat somewhere. Our job is to find stuff. In the tunnel. But that did sound like Dog meat was getting shot. Oh! He may have taken the long way around. This is bullshit. He may have started to take the long way around and ran 
a foul of of guys around here. things and maybe not oh wait we had the stairs here oh also not seeing dog meat anymore damn it We have dog meat. All right. Hmm. Huh. Whatever was going on there. Either way, there was a plan. <coughs> One that I might want to follow. Oh. What's this? Huh, interesting. What it is. Yo, what the hell? That looks like the work of a of a twisted mind. IV bag, Maddox, lab bottle, the blood pack, dirty water, duct tape, slim pack. Useful stuff, but somebody's been doing weird shit with teddy bears around here. Okay, 37... Hmm, I don't know, meters? Feet? Yards? <laughs> Taking that log leg out took longer than it should have. You only have a wooden block with you. Right. <laughs> Come on. Tin can. And the 
can. Neither of which is stuff I really want. Damn. Picking up a pack of cigarettes and everything falls down. <laughs> oh shit! Glowing one, that's never good. Attacking me is never an idea. Gonna cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah, sorry, here come the horrible, horrible puns. Right, right. Lux sensor. Good. Low sighted calibrated combat shotgun. Don't really need that. I got that one that we picked up last episode. Fully upgraded. Who be you? A dead raider. With jet and red X and a camp cooler. That tricycle? Huh. Oh. Maybe. Looks like a skeleton too, maybe a small one. Not a dead feral. There's folk hanging from the ceiling, which does sound to me like raiders having set up camp or set up shop there. Somebody's fighting. Maybe it's raiders versus ghouls. It is not. Shit. Shit. Uh, let's see. That. Raider camp means there's going to be mines again. Those ferals kind of cleared up the area here, except they missed a mine. And not in the triggering it kind of way, unfortunately. Right ahead. Dead ahead, you could say. Theory. There you are! Ooh, messy. Shh. Ouch. didn't work out the way I had intended it to. Where's that other mine? Did it explode as well? 
Is that why, why it took so much damage? Or did it just fly away? Also, as I'm seeing those welding goggles, turns out dog meat can't wear those uh, those goggles. I wa I picked up the, uh, the wrap around goggles. Could be because you can't really wrap them around his head. Come to think of it. Got us a terminal here. Yeah, turret control, but that one's gonna be useless because we just destroyed the turrets. There goes that. <coughs> okay, they're just bones. Not plate. And an aluminium can. I'm a little short on aluminium, I noticed. So that's why I'm picking those up. Who's there? Me. Ooh. Where'd that little fucker? There, there. Oh, shut up. There's another guy. Is losing their head. And there's still fighting going on. Oh. Dogmeat, you used to be better at fighting, you know that? There's some serious fighting going on there. Dogmeat, what, what do you have now? Where are you even? There. Just give me a second, I'm gonna get around to it. Ooh. Keeping their ammo cool, apparently. Right. Which way do we need to go? This way, right? Yep. Of course, there's going to be... Ouch. More fighting going on. And more mines. That I'm going to miss. Ah, Matt. Pay attention. Go. ahead. Huh. 
notice your buddy is dead? Oh, I know you're here. I'll find you. I think you did just. No herring off right now, dog meat, alright? Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. You can trust me. Hey. Damn it. Missed the target. Only a fucking coward hides. Or somebody who wants to get their shot in. Oh. The chain link fence can't be shot. Ooh. Apparently it can. What? What happened? But only if you get the correct place. There's a turret above us. From the sounds of it. So I have no idea what it's shooting at. Somebody blew it up. Let's search me when it comes to finding out who, why, and where. the guy I was missing. Oh! That's a turret. Now I'd be kind of interested in what that thing was shooting at, but... not what we are going for today, is it? It's not. We may be exploring Leighton Towers at some point. Maybe in the next weeks, when... Oh. I was hoping we could get in there, but apparently not. Right! That's still this place. Yeah, maybe in the next weeks when I have no idea what I'm going to do. Come on now. Meat found an enemy. Super mutants. Up around here. Oh, ears play tricks on me again. I hear something. 
Wilson Atomatoys, Corporate HQ. Oh, I want this. Uh, the question is where do I get in? Oh, come on. care of those guys but it's not yet I was planning oh I can get in down there apparently sound, what is it? time to die man shotguns am I right Combat shotguns. More useful than I would have thought. <coughs> what did you find? The door, yeah. I know. Oh, or did you mean. Ooh, hey! <laughs> shotgun shells. Just as I was starting to use the shotgun. Right. Now let's get dangerous, eh? Somebody noticed me. Gotta admit, as I'm recording this, I'm not entirely sure f which day this is going to be. Master Lock. Oh. What's that? E card reader. Well, that's not nothing. Gotta say, hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to get through this area to get to that terminal, unless, of course, we can do anything with that master locked door. Got it. Gonna change things a little, isn't it? Oh, uh, this is. Pretty good, in fact. Reasonably so. I would say... Got sugar bombs. Pack of cigarettes. Bristol is always good. Don't have too much of that. Okay. Here. Terminal. Oh, this is a telephone, the thing I just picked up, but we've got the mainframe access terminal and I've I am able to likeness one uh to crack <coughs> master locked terminals. 
Now I just need to find one that might might fit. Again, just gonna remove dots. Right. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, come on. Yeah. One of these things has to work. You know, in easy terminals you always get one that resets your tries. But on the harder ones, they're all just gonna remove that. There we go. Ding doesn't work. Interior. Coons doesn't work when ever. That's it. There we go. <laughs> That was useless. Plasma cartridge is always good. Oh no, wait, that was this security door. That case, it was in fact useful. Here we've got some radiation and a way up. So much for being unstoppable. What did you just lose? Your arm? Oh, you can look outside here. Mark's warning. Um. Damn it, Nate, where are you? <sighs> After today's meeting, it's going to take a miracle to salvage the scythe contract, and you decided to take the evening off? Look, I wanted to keep the old man out of it, but what can I do? He called me out in front of the board. I had to fire him. Where do you stand, Nate? Are you with me or with him? I want you in my office Monday at 9 sharp. We can discuss the contract or we can discuss your resignation. It's up to you. Well, that's not promising. Wilson Automatize ID card. Heh. <laughs> Buttercup sales. Paula, Mark wants the qu quarter, uh, <coughs> quarter four sales forecasts revised down again. You still have access to those records? See what you can do. Doesn't seem to matter what the number is, so long as it makes his new project look good. We still on for Friday? Nate. Well... Let's check Carla's terminal. Reminder, ID cards. To all employees, remember that your automatized ID card is an essential part of corporate operational security, both here and at our factory. While occasional requests for temporary IDs are understandable, repeated incidents will be reported to your supervisor for this 
I think they misprinted that. Disciplinary action. Jack Cairn. Security. Security bulletin. Arlen Glass. To all employees. Be advised that Mr. Arlen Glass is no longer an employee of Wilson Automatoys. Should you see him on the premises, please notify security immediately. Mark Wilson, President and CEO of Wilson Automatoys. <coughs> Ops Terminal Calendar Nathaniel Hawk 18th 9 Prepare November Production Estimates At 1 pm site briefing with factory ops team 1430 assembly line review with Mark 16 weekly facilities meeting Oh no no on the 19th at 4 pm weekly facilities meeting on the 20th at noon, lunch with Mark and Alan. Uh, Arlen cancelled. On the 21st, 16.30, review site slides for board meeting. The 22nd, at, four, uh, at 2, board meeting. And at uh, 7, date night with Paula. Nathaniel Hawk. Live status report. 10.15. The first phase of the site project is a week ahead of schedule. Two of the five assembly lines have been converted over to site production. The third should be fully operational by Wednesday. An operation staff briefing has been scheduled for, uh, for the 18th. Line workers will be trained on their new tasks over the next two weeks as we conduct test runs of the new equipment. Barring unforeseen difficulties, production should begin on the 1st of November. That doesn't tell us what that actually is though. Kinda curious. Dog me, where are you? Oh! There you are. Can you come back up, please? <laughs> Should probably close in on you. There we go. That works. You had your time! You had your head. <clears throat> now, who of us made better use of what he was given? Bunch of giddy up buttercups. What does that actually, uh, ac yeah, actually give us? G. Ooh. Gears, steel, spring, and screws. That's in fact pretty useful. I think I'm gonna have to give a lot of that stuff to dog meat. about as much as I can. Maybe I should take care of the of the guys upstairs first, but I'm curious what's up down here. Eh, nothing much here. Wait. Oh, this is here, right? Right, right, right. Who killed you? That wasn't me, I don't think. Is that the guys in here? They take down a, a 
super mutant. Cage and pelvis. Not what I might like to pick up. Ah, come here. Dog meat? Right. How about we trade? Man, that's one strong dog. Wondering where he puts it all. Maybe in his armor? Well, that's interesting. Huh. I was wondering why that bomb didn't trigger, but apparently I hadn't stepped on the scale. Which helps. Not triggering bombs. Okay. You found me. Raid. Still one strong dog. By the way, it's time to get you had the time, you had further upstairs. Kill the rest of these guys. If I can go further upstairs. What's that? Alright. Eh, uh, let's take it, because I don't know what kind of uh, scope is on this. Could be useful. <coughs> Still got that problem of having to find a way upstairs. going to be interesting. Ah, can I maybe... I cannot. So... Can I Yikes! Okay. Ah. Red Roach. Some nut shots. There we go. I have not cleared out this place, in fact. But apparently, killing the boss enemy counts as clearing it out. to know how to continue on, how to get upstairs. <coughs> downstairs, not up. We have stairs here. How about that? Come out, come out wherever you are. That puts me upstairs in a different place. terminal. Those are usually useful. Towers, no. Roberts? No. Mm. 
That can't be it. A chinko coupled would be one, but uh, got it. Got it. Security logs. <coughs> now first the turret control. Let's activate them. Security logs. Automatized developer's password. Um, 21st of October 77. Log opened. Morning rounds. No issues. Reported electrical short in machine room. Lunch break. Finished upgrades to turret defenses. Issued vi visitor ID to Miss Marlene Glass. Notified Mr. Glass. She was still waiting. 20 minutes later. 17.05 returned visitor ID to file cabinet. So she was there an hour and five minutes. Evening rounds, no issues. Lock, lo lock close. <coughs> 20 second. Lock open. Morning rounds, no issues. Issue temp ID to Miss Marshall. Memo from Mr. Wilson regarding board meeting. Lunch break. Visitor, visitor IDs to Automatoy's board and one to Colonel Nelson five minutes later. Disturbance reported in boardroom at 1445. At, ele uh, at 15, that's 3 p.m., escorted Mr. Glass from premises, and again 35 minutes later. 16.30, the meeting was apparently over because they collected the visitor IDs. 17.25, evening rounds, escorted Mr. Glass. Notified police, not closed. So Mr. Glass tried to get in quite a bit. 23rd, morning rounds. Escorted Mr. Glass. Reissued temp ID, uh, temporary ID to Miss Marshall. Lunch break at 11.23.59, arrow 209. At 201, lock timeout. That was the day the bombs fell. Security protocol. All security events are to be logged. All employees and visitors must display their official automatized ID cards at all times and present them upon a request. All visitors must be issued visitor ID cards by security. When not in use, vis visitor IDs are to be stored in the file cabinet in the security office. All visitors must be escorted by an employee or member of the security staff at all times. Ah, that's what... Wait a minute, wait a minute. <coughs> escorted Mr. Glass. That's not, not uh, throwing them out. Uh... In all cases, it could it could be. Yeah, you may, you may. I got a treat for you. It could be that he. Oh, eh. Hey. Activating the defenses doesn't work if there are none left. Oh come on. Defense is shooting at dog meat, but not at the super mutants. That's uh, useless. Works. So yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean escorting Mr. Glass off the premises. It could also mean he was allowed to be there if escorted by security. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Not the best way to do it, but gull cap bone. Okay. They had a presentation in there, I suspect. Powered metal left arm. Reese's action point refresh speed. Always taking it. 
No point taking that hunting rifle. Wilson Automatoys. Focused incendiary laser rifle. Hmm. Oh, why not? Comfort grip, excited plasma. Combat armor, left arm. I got one of those. Resignation letter. Can I? No, I can't. Can't read it from here. I can, however, read it from here. R. There we go. I know I wasn't the best of fathers. Automatoys took too much of my time and I couldn't be there for you when you needed me. Your birthdays, your graduation, your mother's funeral. But everything I did has always been for you. These past few years have been difficult. The toy di business didn't come naturally to you, but you've grown into it. You deserve to be the next president of Wilson Automatoys. Congratulations, son. You've earned it. Sincerely, George Wilson. Founder and president, Wilson Automatoys. Well... It's nice and all. Oh, Bob Ruff's best moonshine. How did that get here? I'm wondering. Oh, I was wondering what's making that sound, but apparently it's uh, the fan. No! Oh. oh crap. That was way too far down. So uh, where were we? Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. No, it wasn't here. Ah, no, that's what's... What's making that sparking sound. The actual sparks. Well, that shortens things a little bit. In fact, I wanted to go in here. And here we've got another giddy up buttercup. <coughs> Reception terminal. Oh man, this video is running ro long again. Reminder, board meeting. The Wilson Automatoys Board of Directors will meet on Friday, the 22nd at 2 p.m. The board will be joined by Colonel Thomas Nelson, U.S. Army. Professional conduct and decorum is expected. Armand Glass. Okay, yeah. Uh, just said that this the security is supposed to be notified. Uh. Um, where did we get up? There. That... Ooh! Well now, well now. Development Office Terminal. Documents. Sales forecasts. Giddy up Buttercup sales forecast. 1st of October 77. Based on current market conditions, analysts expect sales of the Giddy up Buttercup to decline, decline in the fourth quarter from 122 million to 110 million dollars. A year over year loss of 17% and a disappointing showing in the important holiday sales period. Brand stagnation and market saturation at the current $16,000 price point are blamed for the continuing decline. Draft regarding the sales forecast. I don't believe these numbers. We've had solid sales for years. What ch what's changed? If our sales really are down, we need to expand our market. Premium additions, collectible variations, maybe even try boys line. I'll work up some ideas for the next week's board for next week's board meeting. It'll be great, you'll see. But I can't do this alone, Mark. Your father and I collaborated on everything. I don't know what the hell you've been doing for the past year, Arlen. 
Ah, product brainstorming. Collectible variants, body hair color variants, identifying marks, mythics product line, legacy, unicorns, alternative markets, boys, cowboys, and Indians line, insensitive, boys, ride in bucking bronco, premium, princess line with crystal, gold, silver shotting, promotional, promotional tie ins, hubris comics, mechanists, robots, uh, robot horse, Nuka Cola, limited edition red horse, Voltec, no idea. So, Arlen Glass. So apparently, we've got a reminder. <laughs> Remember, Marlene will be coming to your office after school on Thursday around 3.30. I'll stop by at 5 to pick her up. Cheryl. So, yeah, the question is what happened here? Apparently, um, the boss, Mark, wanted to to get a new product line or something. Or a total new pro product. And thus uh, had the sales report stop doctored. Oh boy. Master safe. There we go. Almost. Still almost. <laughs> Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Oh, come on. Sorry. There we go. Yes. Oops. That. And thus we get the development lab terminal. Welcome back Arlen. Arlen. Okay. Reminders. Personal reminders. Pick up milk, eggs, new car. Don't forget again. Call home at 7. Marlene's bedtime. 21st. Marlene coming to office after school. 22nd. Board meeting. New buttercup concepts. 3rd of November. Marlene's birthday. 7th. Still need card. 18th of November, wedding anniversary, buy card, gift, trip, check with, Je uh, with Jen re regarding vacation calendar. Development log. 14th, slow progress, the new leg servers are still too powerful, they punched a hole in the floor during today's test, need to scale them back again, I just don't know what went wrong. 17th, even the color variations are a mess, tinting the metal altered at electrical Impedance, so I'm trying uh, automotive detail detailing now. Can't believe I skipped Marlene's recital to sit with a bunch of pink horses and watch paint dry. I'll make it up to her once this is all over. Well, turns out you couldn't. You couldn't. Twentieth. What a disaster! I haven't heard back on any of the li licensing proposals yet. The shift supervisor at the factory isn't returning my calls. I don't have anything to show in the board meetings in two days. I can't afford to be tardy. Clock is ticking, Arlen. Clock is ticking. So apparently, I could have turned off the, the save. Yeah. Can eject the hollow tape. M. Marlene's hollow tape. Go ahead. Hi, Daddy. When are you coming home? You work too much. I want you to read to me again. Mommy says you're helping all the horses find good homes. Take care of them, okay? I love you. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you too. We miss you. Come home soon. So, yeah. Back bay. I do kind of want to see if we can activate the elevator. We can. Plasma cartridge, shotgun shell, short pipe rifle. Isn't functioning. Right. That's all I wanted to know. Oh, right. We had 
those two guys up here. What did you find, boy? Way down or oh ammo plasma cartridges that works kind of now what we'd have to get down again right right we will we will and then next time we are going to hang around or Roll around, actually we don't need to get down. We can just head on over here, eh? Right. That things look different. I can't put my finger on it though. Like did they clean up here or is that just because there's no paladin standing outside or no no knight? No idea. No. Here we go. So, you finished or what? Affirmative, really. Maybe you're not as worthless as I thought. Commonwealth is a big place in need of some serious exterminating. If you're interested in heading out on another mission, you let me know. Anytime. I'm ready. Better be. Details are on your map. Report back when the area is clear. So, this is a repeatable quest, apparently. I hope you brought that artifact back in one piece. Come on. Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here's a little... I'm always looking for tech. Once you're ready, come find me. So... Affirmative. Great. Here's the location. Get on it. So we can... If we need caps, we can just do these. Super Duper Mart. And Melton Center. Um, it's not the Super Duper Mart that... No, it isn't. <laughs> I was wondering. That's one we already did, but it is apparently not. Or is it? If it isn't, where is it? There, it is. One up in Lexington. Well, things moved back in, I suspect. Um. But yeah, we will do that kind of quest when we just, you know, uh, when we just uh, come across those places for some reason. Yes, move it. The location isn't going to clear itself. Uh, Semper and Victor got finished again. Did I accidentally wait? Wait, 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 wait. Semper and Victor. Ah, support the Brotherhood Recon team. Right, I did that. I've completed my initial assignments for Night Rise and Scribe Halen. There we go. So next time we can either check out the Brotherhood airship. Right. What do we want to do? Science? Science. So that means, unless I've got something I can grab. Uh, I'm going to take Scrapper. So, so science will have to wait another round because uh, then I can upgrade intelligence, and I might it might I might come on uh, come up on 
the next upgrade for Armorer and Gunnut, so we'll see. Either way, as I said, next time we'll either head on over to the Brotherhood airship with Paladin Dance, or we will uh, grab Piper and do those uh, those quests over here. I think that's or work towards those quests over here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll also pick up that pipe revolver from... Well, we can actually do that. No, we cannot. Maybe we'll do that in the beginning of next video. Then grab Piper and do all that good stuff. So until then, thank you and good night.